Yo, what's up? It's your boy. Yeah, Zack Snyder, Netflix, A Marriage in Heaven. And I'm gonna tell you why. Army of the Dead is an original concept by Zack Snyder. I've been trying to make this movie for 10 years, but no one wanted to jump in and help out. Well, Netflix said, we got those monies. Zack Snyder, we believe in you. You know, Warner Brothers, forget them. Come over to our studio and uh, do what you do. Because when a director has full range of his own concept, you get the best direction. It's a labor of love. Now, I really enjoyed Justice League, the Snyder Cut, right? Loved it. But with a movie like that, there's things you have to do. You have to meet studio mandates. This is a, a property that's been out for years with all these superheroes. So, you know, you have to do certain things to make people happy. An original concept, an original script, and a director's vision coming to life. And he has a whole gigantic playground. And the studio saying, hey, bruh, do what you do. We will not interfere, okay? You can tell in the movie, the way it was shot, the angles and everything. Zach had fun. He had a gigantic playground. And he had a great cast. Dave Batista, of course, is the headliner. But everybody else, I really didn't know who they were. Uh, the one that played his daughter, I've seen her in a few other movies. I think Kick-Ass 2 or something like that. Um, the blonde lady, man. I really liked her. This movie had... People with unique features. The lit blonde hair, I love her almond-shaped eyes. Very, very sinister. The one that played his daughter had big, beautiful eyes. Looked innocent, but she was tough. Lots of women. Lots of badasses. Lots of dudes. Lots of badasses. Lots of men who were scumbags. And, um, yeah, it was great when they died. The cool thing about this film... Like I said, it was director's dream come true, bringing your own vision to life. Now, I've seen a couple other interviews and reviews about this movie, and um, people kept comparing it to Aliens. I'm like, Aliens? I get it now. I just watched it. Just finished watching this film. I can only compare this movie to Aliens. Get a bunch of dudes together and women that are badasses. You go on a mission. You go into enemy territory try to obtain something but there's also somebody in the mission with you that has a different agenda so you got to be careful to get him backstabbed people who you want to die people you don't want to see die end up dying it's, it's a great flick i can only compare it to aliens these things are fast they're vicious these zombies actually have personality and a little bit of smarts you know, I like the way Zack Snyder made them faster and smarter. I don't want to give the details away, but trust me, it's a unique zombie film. And like superhero films, I'm kind of zombied out. I've seen enough zombie movies to last me, a, last me a lifetime, trust me. But this zombie movie, new. It was fresh. Had a whole new take on the zombie genre that I truly appreciate. It was shot beautifully. Even he did his own cinematography, Zack Snyder. He had his hands all over this project and it shows. If you're a zombie fan, you're gonna love it. If you're a Zack Snyder fan, you're gonna love it. Netflix, man, thank you. You did the damn thing because you let me down two weeks ago with that bullshit, uh, Jupiter's legacy with it. Man, please, why? Why did you do that? You're back on track. I love this joint. I encourage everybody, go to Netflix and watch The Army of the Dead, Zack Snyder's new project. Man, you will not be disappointed. It's two and a half hours. I did not feel the runtime. And every trope, I'm gonna say it again, every trope you think is gonna happen in this film, eh, not really. Let's just say, uh, there was a cool black guy in this movie and I was happy with the outcome alright until next time be sure to like share subscribe and tell all your friends and more importantly leave your comments down below peace and I'm out and just remember 
It's just my point of view.